Well, let's talk about the difference between possession and, and process. So you think that just simply prosecuting him based on the possession of these unauthorized or, un, you know, these documents that mm. should have been left at the White House, that is not sufficient to go after um, the president? Well, technically it might be, but it wouldn't be when you have uh, a former presidential candidate, Hillary Clinton, having possessed unauthorized material, the current president having possessed classified material, the former vice president, the former national security advisor. You need more than that. That's why I say it needs to meet the Richard Nixon standard. There has to be enough so that it's bipartisan, so that Republicans would join Democrats and say, this goes over the line, it's too much. Now, I don't know whether that will happen based on this tape recording, but Republicans are now sweating quite a bit as the result of the revelation of that tape. I haven't yet heard what the defense will be. I'm interested. I think one possible defense is that he was blustering. We all know Donald Trump does that. And he was just mm -hmm. bragging, he was saying, see what I have? I can't show it to you, but look at what I have. That might be the defense, and that would fit into his personality, is but we'll see what the evidence is.